what Lenny think of the game yesterday? Yeah, good. I think he watched it. Did you watch the game yesterday? Yeah. Yeah. He puts his ruse jumper on and, uh, and runs around with his footy. So um, we had to watch a replay this morning. So uh, we, we've seen it all. How did Daddy play? It's good. <laughs> good boy. Oh, well, I don't know if it was that good, but uh, yeah, Lenny thinks so. So it's, it's nice. What do you take from the game? It was back and forth, up and down. Yeah, it was. I, you know, we come out, um, yeah, happy to get the four points, and uh, and you know we've got our season off to a great start. But um, yeah, we haven't done the review, but I, I think there'll be a bit to take out of it. Um, obviously, don't want to get involved in shootouts of, of that nature, but we knew Melbourne would throw everything at us, and uh, yeah, they they were ferocious at the footy, and you know they won contested ball and inside fifties, and um, we're probably a little bit lucky to get away with the win, but um, we found a way, and uh, and yeah, pretty thankful to to get away with the four points. I know you say you haven't done the review yet, but what do you think the positives you can take from that? Uh, the positives, well, just to um, I think the way we defended, um, you know, there, there was a you know a heap of inside fifties and uh, and to, to you know nullify um, a few of them were, were pretty good. And um, you know, in the last quarter, you know, going against that strong breeze, we we're still able to go forward and score. And uh, um, there were some pivotal plays. You know, Cunnington got back in the back fifty, and Lindsay Thomas at the end uh, with that spoil, like you know, game-saving spoil. So um, yeah, certainly it's positive to take out of it. But um, yeah, we, we don't probably want the opposition scoring as heavily as they did. Uh, heart, sorry, heart in the mouth stuff when Billy Stretch got the ball at the end. Yeah, it sure was. Um, the siren sound of it was pretty windy, and it was hard to hear out there. So. Uh, yeah, it was uh, it was heart in the mouth sort of stuff. They, we knew they were with that strong breeze, they could come home pretty quick, and um, yeah, that's exactly what they did. Just the start to the season so far. Are you pretty happy with where things sit at the moment? Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, win loss ratio. It's nice to get off to a good start. We haven't been able to do that for uh, for for um, till early days in my career at this footy club. So um, you know, that's great. But um, you know, to be honest, it doesn't feel like we're playing great footy. It doesn't feel like it's that far away. So um, we've got plenty to work on, but. Um, you know, it's good to be on the positive side and uh, and off to an unblemished start. Frio this week, what sort of challenge are you expecting against them? Oh, we know what sort of footy club they are and um, you know how well led they are and you know we know what we're going to get. They're going to come out of the, the blocks firing and um, you know they're under the pump a little bit um, and they've got their backs to the wall. So uh, we'll need to be at our very best again and we expect a ferocious you know Fremantle side to, to make the trip over. No Sandlands, does that help you out a little bit? Oh, yeah, definitely. You know he's a He's a quality player, and he's a he's a man mountain. So, um, you know, but you know they've got they've got quality players, you know, almost in every line. So um, I'm sure they'll they'll make up for him. But um, yeah, I guess it's a pretty relief, a bit of a relief for Goldie. I guess he doesn't have to jump against uh, Big Sandy. But um, you know, hopefully he recovers well and he's back out in the park soon because you want to see, you know, the good players out there. What have you made of their game style? Perhaps they were trying to be a bit more attacking the first couple of rounds. So they went back to that grinding style against West Coast. Yeah, I saw a bit of the West Coast game. I haven't seen them previously, but um, yeah, there's a bit of talk about how they're moving the ball. But um, yeah, I'm not too sure. I guess we'll, we'll drill down on them this week. But um, yeah, we know how proud they are, and you know Ross Lyon sides, how much fight they have, and um, you know they'll come out firing. Don't worry about Fremantle. Um, you know, a few years ago we were um, three and zip, and, and we made a prelim in 07. So um, you know they're not throwing away their season. I'm sure. Um, just on Murph yesterday, a real tragedy if he has done his ACL. Yeah, it certainly is. Um, you know, one of the, the real great guys. I don't know Bob Murphy personally, but um, you know, seems like a great fella and uh, captain of the footy club. Real exciting time for the Bulldogs. So you know, wish him all the best um, with his recovery if that's what he has done. And uh, yeah, thoughts thoughts are with him. But um, you know, he seems like a real quality person. I'm sure he'll bounce back quick. There's a lot of talk about that um, shootout style um, that was played against. Melbourne. Um, can you see the game going that way a bit at the moment? Um, yeah, well, I guess that's uh, what the AFL wants and um, they've introduced a few rules and they want to see higher scoring games and I'm sure the fans are pretty excited with it. Um, being a defender, I probably don't want to see the, the big shootouts. Um, but, yeah, the game, you know, is significantly quicker, I feel, over the, you know, the first month. Um, um, there's a few you know, factors to that, um, a couple of rule changes and the interchange rules and, and all those sort of things. But um, you know, it's appealing for fans and um, fans are turning out to the games and, and crowd numbers are going up and membership's going up. So I guess it's really good for the game. Um, you mentioned just before about you guys starting 0-3 and in 07 and still making the finals. Do you think Freo can still do it from the spot that they're in? Yeah, definitely. You know, uh, I guess as far as we're concerned, we, uh, hopefully, you know, they're zipping four after this weekend. But um, you know, like I said, they're a quality side, and 
their finals hardened team. They've been there and done it, um, and they've got quality players over every line. So there's no reason why they can't. And I, I reckon they'll know that. Um, maybe the footy world might start to write them off, but you know we're certainly not.